Launching the campaign, the Minister of Works and Transport, John Mitorba, indicated that despite Namibia being accorded the top position of having best roads in Africa by the World Economic Forum for five consecutive years, such achievement is clouded by the litter and garbage on the road reserves. Mutorva said Namibia is one of the most preferred tourist destinations, hence the need for a litter-free, safe and sustainable road network. He indicated that in order to conduct a successful cleanup campaign, full participation of municipalities, business communities, civil societies and all road users is required. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad that here we are having this official launch, national, and we are sending a message of appeal for assistance. We are doing it in Rundu, but let it go through the whole 14 regions. In the whole 121 constituencies, in thousands and thousands of villages in Namibia. Let us start where we are, including in our homes. Mutorba is also concerned with illegal dumping of waste in open spaces along the road network in towns and cities. He therefore called on municipalities to come up with a sustainable waste management solution to address the illegal dumping. The minister also appealed to the Roads Authority to embark on an extensive education campaign and awareness program to facilitate long-term changes in attitudes about littering. And I want people to appreciate this in this broader context. When the Roads Authority as a state agency now say, we, we concentrate on our roads. Other people concentrate schools. Others concentrate on their homes. Then we will ensure a safe environmentally free Namibia. He also wants to see a reduction in road accidents, saying road users need to self-regulate their behaviors, adding Namibia is losing its able generation who are contributing towards the country's development.